What up, true family? What it is and what's up? Happy mother freaking Thursday. Yes, Thursday. Uh, Friday Eve. Uh, we're about to get into this cooking video. Welcome to all the news, all the truths, and we're gonna go and get it started because I don't want to waste no time. Y'all know whenever I cook, I sip, I think it makes my food taste better. So, let's get her done. Make sure that you like the video. I'm trying to get back in the algorithm, y'all. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Um, I'm trying to see what's my best lighting right now. All right, those are our peppers, dried peppers, you guys. One is called California, and the other starts with a G. I don't recall, you know, how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to screw it up. Go ahead and sit those into your blender for now. You're going to crack those open and get those seeds out of there. The seeds are what actually makes it spicy, so if you want it spicy, do your thing. We don't eat spice over here, so yeah, do that. Now, um, you're going to need a little bit of, well, let's do the meat. Now, the meat, I put olive oil on and seasoned it with salt and pepper, blended it very well. You're going to need some chipotle, um, also a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Now, these are my favorite tomatoes, fire roasted. Um, garlic, either fresh or minced. And I used a one and a half onion, a whole red and half of a yellow. We love onion here. Um, also, a little bit of cilantro for this household because we don't care for it a whole lot. Now, look at this. I did this for y'all. Look at this uh, dry seasoning medley. I hooked it up. Yes. All right, you guys. So, we have one tablespoon of oregano. We also have a... Um, teaspoon of cumin cumin y'all cumin not cumin i know we like cumin but i'm talking about cumin cumin i was on somebody's video y'all and it just really messed me up they kept saying kept on saying it um you have a teaspoon of salt teaspoon of pepper you don't want to overdo it because your meat is seasoned already um you're gonna have did i say two teaspoons of coriander already coriander powder and i used two teaspoons of onion powder also now if you question anything i'm gonna try to remember to put sam the cooking guy beefy burrito i'm sorry beefy biera taco link into the description box uh yeah you guys so we're gonna go these are our um most of the seasonings you will need to cups of beef broth also let's get into that so in here we have the dried uh california chilies uh and the other dried chilies that start with a g we want to go ahead and put that it's th two cups of chicken of beef broth y'all i had it on the stove already heating up so we're gonna go ahead and put it in here cover it for 15 minutes and let these um chilies to break down to get soft. See, y'all, I, I, I was on it today. I went ahead and prepped and everything. So this is my chick, my beef broth that I had going on the stove. I'm gonna go ahead and just get her in there. Get her done, y'all. Don't play. Don't, don't sleep on it. Um, and I want to push those down in there so that they are covered. But they're going to steam. They will steam. Oh, that, that beef broth smells delicious. So I want to drink it. I want to. Oh, I got a drink. All right. And if you're not in the kitchen cooking with love, I'm going to need you to go ahead and get out the kitchen because that means that your food nasty. It do. It do. So we're going to go ahead and cover her up, okay? This shark is a little tricky, y'all. You got to be a muscle man to get this. My dog looking at me like, mama, mama, mama. Mm, there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and cover it. I'm not going to lock it, y'all, because then I got to fight to get it off again. We're going to set it to side. 15 minutes. 15 minutes, and I'll be back. 
Okay, so you guys, this is your, this is my uh, steak. I cut it up pretty good. I put a little bit of olive oil on it first, and then I seasoned it with salt and pepper only. Okay, now I know we like to do our thing and add a whole bunch of stuff. It's going to change the taste of the original, the authentic taste that we're trying to get. So, that part, let's do it. I know y'all don't see my head. Y'all need so, to. You want to put all of it in there at one time. You want to you wanna put a little in there at a time, cook it, and move on. But don't skip this, this step because it, it's going to help with the flavor. You don't want to bring the heat down too much, so don't put too much in there at one time. I'm going to leave it at that. Then once this is done cooking, I'm going to take it and put it off in my crock pot. I'm using my crock pot, y'all. Actually, um, actually think I prefer the steak over the, um, 
the roast. The roast was delicious too. Don't get me wrong, using the roast. I, I feel like either one would be a great option. But look at that. Y'all see the juices? You see the meat? So let me show y'all how to put it together. Let me get set up. Y'all see my? Y'all see I can't go nowhere without her or him. He over there, but she be up my ass. She waiting for some food to drop. Hold on. Yeah, I'm afraid to put a little more olive oil. I'm gonna take some of that broth that's in some of the juices from the meat and put it in a little uh, glass plate so I can just lay my tortillas off in there. Now, I myself love corn tortillas, but my kids do not, and I'm making these for them right now. So we're using flour tortillas for the special children in my household. And they all they want on it, y'all, is some cheese, and then they'll dip it in like sour cream or whatever else they want. So I just took a little scooper and got some of those juices out, you guys. Look at that. That's some of that. That's that goodness. That goodness, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and um. Let me see if I can get it better for you guys. And I'm telling y'all, must still be getting hot quick. And plus, we distracted doing a thousand things. So, let me just get this to where you can see good. Okay, y'all. So, I'm going to take, I can fit two in here. I think I'm going to put two flour then so I can kill two birds with one stone. See that? I'm just going to put it off in my juices. Then I'm going to go ahead and put some cheese on there too. But I'm going to flip it first. We're just doing shredded cheese, shredded cheddar cheese, y'all, because like I said, they don't know how to eat around here. They scared of food, but they love it, so. Although it, you might think it was a lot of steps, it really was not. We're going to go ahead and put some meat on there. I just don't really want to make a mess, though. Let's get some of this meat so I can fold it over. Look at that, y'all. That meat it, it's, it's freaking delicious. Freaking delicious. I think I'm gonna make my husband a few and go ahead and put them up so when he come in, I can just nuke it. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and fold that in half, you guys. Just fold her. I should have used my spatula, but I'm being lazy. I really am. Oh, look at that. Who did that? Who made that? Girl, True made that. True, did it. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to make a few of them, y'all, for them so they can just grab them. They can just get them, take them, and be done. Let's sit my plate over here. Where my drink at? Did somebody that stole my drink? Who did stole my drink? Yes, you guys, I really like having dinner done before like five. Um, thank God we're working from home so I can pretty much work, clean, do, do whatever I need to do around the house and um, cook dinner. Cause anything, I love crock pot meals. Any crock pot meals, y'all, I'm down. I'm down for that, that convenience, but I like to have my dinner done early so about the time hubby gets home, look at that. By the time um, my baby get home from work, we can just spend some quality time together. This is a messy dish though, y'all. So anybody who knows True know that I am going through it right now. I really am, because it's just like dripping and, and she waiting, y'all. She's smart. That's why she decides she is. Because she know if it go to the flow, it's hers. I'm gonna make about eight of them, y'all. And they can just come in here and grab them off of the thing, off of the plate. And you know, um, you see that I'm very, they probably get full off of two. I am very generous with the meat. Very, very. And it's plenty of broth, plenty of the juice in here. So if you wanted to, you can always go and grab some more so that you can just be ready to dip. And if you want, if they want something that they can just dip in themselves, I have, it's enough over here. Actually, my, my juice is so thick that I could add a little more beef broth to it to make more, but y'all, they don't get in what they fit in, because who, 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 who done? I don't even stutter, y'all. 
Who is it? His, I'm done in his picture. I am. I don't even want to eat. <laughs> I'm going to eat half of one of these probably. We call this, we finger cooking today. I'm just going to let it heat up on that side and then put some cheese on there, throw some meat on there. I'm being intimidated, y'all. Try it. I was so intimidated to try, um, but I started making it probably a year ago. Okay, let me flip them. Y'all got the mama hands where you can kind of touch hot stuff. We're gonna go ahead and get some more chess. Put some chess on there, some chess. And I'm telling you, they they my son been asking me to make this all week like since last week, but I was down. I was down for the count, but uh -uh. I went ahead and got everything for it. Look at her waiting, y'all. Dun dun. I'm not dropping anything. Who is that? I did not pay her to say that, y'all. <laughs> Here, here go two. Two is enough. Right? <laughs> two is enough, right? Get you another plate, though, because I'm using this plate to put some on. Well, I'm going to make your daddy. I guess I'll make him three. No, you go over. No, we didn't. We don't have any paper plates. But y'all, I'm gonna let her cut one open for you. Can you cut yours in half? Before you don't want to cut yours in half. You gonna use the kid's plate? <laughs> you don't want to be lazy. I don't, everybody goes that plates are right. over there. They not for y'all though. They for the kids, like the babies. I don't want them to burn. But they look so good. <laughs> but yes, you guys, easy recipe. Throw in the crock pot. It did take three hours, but overall, set it and forget it. Do what you need to do. Run some errands. Do your job. Whatever. I hope you like this video. I'm tired. Love piece of hair grease. I was gonna cut one open, but it, you can cut it open. Oh, okay. Hold on, y'all. My daughter can cut hers open. It's kind of messy. It's <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's all good, y'all. They are delicious. Try it. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Love, peace, and hair grease. I'm out this time.